So um, it was not really introduction to sailing. It was more like I had an internal feeling that I need to sail, and um, I got very lucky. I went on a sailing event. It was a lot of Timmy's dinghies, and I managed to sneak in, and I got to sail one. And from there on, basically, I just kept sailing. So yeah, a little bit like I wanted to go, and I went for it. That was it. So how did that translate into uh, sailing, uh, sailing moths, and and you know, you're off to the moth worlds in uh, in in a couple of weeks' time in in Lake Garda? It's quite a transition from optimist to to moth. So is it just a gradual transition through life? Well, the transition went from optimist to laser to 470 to some bigger boats to windsurfing to F18 and 49er and some other boats. So it didn't go like optimist to moth, obviously. Um, but yeah, it just stayed, it stayed with me, sailing, and it was quite a bug, it never left the, the place, basically. I have nothing, I don't believe in that. If, you, if you're looking for an excuse for being a bat in the water, there's one for you. Uh, and I just believe that if I do bad in the water, it's because I did bad prepare or I didn't do well on the water, as simple as that. I don't think a particular sock that I didn't wear would make the difference, really. I think, like, falling tucking came with like, quite a struggle. <laughs> that was, I, I wouldn't call it, like, I, I, I wouldn't consider any, any places in, in regattas or anything, because those things you, you will achieve eventually if you put the work. So, so really the, the falling tuck, but you would never imagine the falling tuck would be that tricky. So I think that was quite hard for me. Tricky one. Uh, I wish I would say like I would have a very high target, but not really, because I didn't have the time to go to different events to prepare. I was just sailing here in the home waters. So I don't have any hopes actually for, for the regatta, but I'll take whatever it comes. I was planning to go to UK for the UK Nationals. I was planning to do the foiling week and all that with the Corona and uh, things somehow pushed me away. Starting. Yeah. On sa my satellite is really bad. And it's been bad for the last few years because I just don't visit enough regattas. So I would imagine if I would have done a couple of regattas before the Worlds, I would probably have bigger hopes, but Right now, it feels like whatever I get, I'll be happy with, just because I just didn't practice enough starts. It's a very good reference number to look at, to find your speed every single time, or at least get close to it. I think that is that is basically something that would look quite often at when sailing. No, I think it's still a work in progress. I think that there is a I need more time on the water basically to and more like live feed looking at what I'm doing to be able to, to judge and get that number or I don't think it's I mean it's like in every in every different condition you will get a different number basically like if you get 20 knots of wind you'll get one number on 10 knots you'll get a different number